Okay. Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Brandon Watts and today we're going to be creating a whole set of actions to help speed up your workflow. So let's go ahead and get started. There's quite a bit to cover. We're going to start with my three ambient exposures, which are going to be set at two stops apart. This is going to be for my dark to middle to brightest, followed by my dark and repair layer right here with the uh, flash bounced directly above the camera facing kind of backwards to uh, help fill in some shadows and bring in some color uh, the correct color for the room this is going to be my side fill flash which I'm bouncing off the right side to fill in the left as well as bring in some some uh, shadows and contrast some dynamic shadows and contrast on either side you can see We'll be reintroducing some of these shadows here, as well as along here, which will look nice once we blend it all together. These are going to be my light and repair layers for the windows. Followed by my dark and repair layers. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna run this action here. Uh, I created through Lumenzia. If you don't have your custom actions for Lumenzia and you have Lumenzia, you just come into this top right corner, go down, go down to utilities and hit load Lumenzia actions. And what that will do is once you go into window actions, you'll start to see this new folder here called Lumenzia Actions by Greg Benz and you'll have all these different actions that you could just drag and drop into a, a new action folder that you create and these will correspond with the, uh, with the various buttons on the uh, plugin itself though the creator Greg Benz he states that it's not exactly the same it's just uh, relatively the same principle the same idea that when you select this it, it's sim similar to selecting one of these buttons. It's not the same exactly though, so be aware of that if you do buy this plugin. I just use it just to create this HDR blend, which you'll notice I rearranged the order of the um, of the brackets to where now my middle exposure is at the bottom, my darkest exposure is at the as in the middle, followed by my brightest exposure at the top. And what this does is you'll notice it starts to bring back in those highlights. Now we're getting some detail in the back through the windows. That wasn't there on the ambient, the, the middle exposure. And on the brightest exposure, what this is doing is bringing in those shadows. So I will select those, merge that. That's gonna be my HDR bracket. Oh, real quick, let me, uh, reverse and uh, for the highlights what this does is I'm going to hold down option select the black layer mask and that's going to show you what is uh, hidden and what's visible whatever is white is visible and whatever is black is going to be concealed so this mask is going to be like a uh, L2 selection for the highlights feathered at seven pixels and what this one is going to be it's going to be a darks 2 selection feathered at 400 pixels. You just notice a difference between 7 pixels and a 400 pixel blend. How that works out. The highlights we need greater detail so we need that to be sharper. And with the shadows we can just kind of feather that out to blend evenly. I'm going to take that merge that. And that's going to be my HDR uh, ambient base layer. And we're going to get started with creating our actions. So the first one we're going to do is create a new action at the bottom. Call this ambient blend. I'm going to do function F1 do shift and command and then I'm going so that way we can assign that to a hotkey that way all we have to do is just press one button 
Actually, you know what? Let's do F2. We're gonna do so that way. All we have to do is just press a one hotkey, and that will just run this action for us. We'll hit record, and with this ambient layer, the very first thing we want to do is Command J to duplicate that. Then we're going to set that top layer to a 50% opacity. We'll hold down Option and hit the left bracket, which is right next to the letter P on the keyboard. We select the bottom layer. We'll hit Command Comma, which is the button right next to the letter M for Mary, to um, make that second layer uh, not visible. We'll do Option Right Bracket to go back up. Now we can drop this down to luminosity. Hit Command J to duplicate that layer. Drop this to color. And we will add a black layer mask. We'll do hold down Option, Shift, left bracket to select both of those layers. And we'll hit Command G to group. Call this ambient blend. We will go ahead and stop that action. I'm gonna, going to delete that, bring back up our copy, and we'll see if it works by doing Command Shift F2. And there you go, super easy. All right, so that is our ambient blend. Next up, we're going to we want to do our dark and repair layer action. So we'll close this, make sure we're here, create a new action, call it darken color repair. Make this F3, hit record. Now for this one, all we're gonna do is drop this down to darken. And then we'll do Command J to duplicate. Drop this down to color. We'll do Option Shift, left bracket, Command G to group. Call this Darken Color Repair. And we'll go ahead and stop that one. Super easy. Okay. Next up is going to be our gradient blend. So we create a new action. Call this gradient blend. Make this F4, Shift, Command. Hit record. And for this one, I'm going to hit D on the keyboard to reset the uh, colors to black and white. I want my black um, on the foreground and my white to be the background color. So I hit D first, then I'm going to hit G for gradient. And I'll go ahead and add a white layer mask. Hold down shift and I'm going to click right here inside this little middle third and my right third middle third my left third over here and i just want to click right inside of the middle to get that nice blend and we'll go ahead and stop that action easy all right so now what i want to do is for these these are going to be my light and windows right here my light and windows. So we'll go ahead and do new action. Create new action. Call this set to lighten. Oh, you know what? I already have a action in there. I'll fix that later on. Um, let's make this F6. For now, 
Okay, so shift command F6 set to lighten. Now that that is recording, I'm just going to drop this down to lighten. Go ahead and stop recording. Easy. Now I can select all four of these. And when I hit my hotkey, you'll notice that. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Was it uh, Control Shift? All right, here we go. We're over here just pressing buttons. Now I can select these, hit my hotkey, boom, and that will select, that will make everything in between set to lighten. I'm going to do the same thing. Create a new action set to darken. F7. Okay. Set to darken. Hit stop. Now I can select all of all of these. Run that action. Set set to darken. And every single one of these you'll notice the blend mode is set to darken. Alright. And there you have it. Now I can do a uh, command option shift E to merge all visible. I can do a command shift A to bring up the camera roll and just kind of work with that a little bit. And there you go quick and easy. Now to take that act, those actions a step further and to make it even easier, I started off with a, a fresh set of layers. And what we're going to do is create a new action. Call this main action. And for this one, we're going to set that one to F1. That's the main one. Shift command, hit record. What we can do is just click the first three one by one to run that. And then after running the ambient, what we got to do is drop down to this layer. So we'll do option left bracket to select that layer. And we will do a darken color. Boom. Hit play and then do option left bracket again. Gradient blend, hit play, boom, and that is the main action right there. So I'll start fresh one more time just to run that, and we're going to just edit this the way I normally would. Command Shift F1 just ran all of those. I'm going to bring all my window repairs to the top. These four. Oh, my mouse is messing up. These four, I believe, was uh, F6 or no, F7. Oh, no, here we go. Shoot, I'm not even holding the right buttons. What did I have this as? Oh, set to lighten F6. I'm going to have to get used to these hotkeys now that I reorganized them. Boom. These are F7. Just make sure I have them selected. Boom. Okay. And what I'll do is start working on the windows. What is this? Uh, yep. Okay.
doing my best to avoid that shadow because I don't need that flash sh shadow in the frame. Command Shift Return closes out that selection. Hit mask, let that mask itself out. Now what is this here? There we go. I'm gonna add a white layer mask to that one. Just to show you the difference in what you can do. Okay, gonna do Option Shift Delete. Is that right? Nope. There we go. Command Shift Delete, and then Command D to deselect. Do a Command I to invert. And there we go. There. Okay. Now with this one, it's gonna be the light in Windows, and you can see that this exposure is too bright for these windows here, but it's just right for this window only so that's what I'm gonna bring in is only that window right there I'm gonna hold down option on the keyboard hit the black hit the layer mask to create a black layer mask hit B on the brush I'm just gonna brush that back in boom okay I'm gonna do the same for these just gonna brush back in those shadow areas. I don't want to hit these windows. That's too bright. Just just brushing in that area there. These don't affect anything because they're just too dark compared to the layer below it. See that's bright there and these are just darker. So if it's set to lighten but it's darker than the but it's darker than the uh, layer below it then it's not going to lighten anything. So I'm just going to delete, delete those. Group these. Those are my windows. Okay. And now I can do Command Option Shift E to merge all visible. Do Option Shift A or Command, I'm sorry, Command Shift A to bring that up. There we are. Just fix that real quick. Boom, bring down those shadows. And there you have it. With the window pulls and everything, I mean, that didn't take too long. And if you don't have any window pulls, then it would have taken even less time. Could have just gone Command Option Shift E to merge all visible. Then bring up your camera roll. And that would be the difference. It doesn't really take that much time, just depends on how meticulous you want to be with some of those windows, but and there you have it. If you enjoyed any of the information I've been putting out so far, I appreciate a thumbs up, uh, maybe a subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. There is a Lumenzia affiliation link down below if you don't have it yourself. And uh, you all take care. Have a great day.